I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Break gun off safety. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Um, as you guys, your girl, she struggles. We're gonna go to the doctor today. She's gonna place the peel on. The peel has to stay on your face for 12 hours, y'all. 12 hours, it is insane, but I'm so excited to get started. So, let's go. Hey guys, so I just put, uh, they just put the Cosmelon peel on, so I'm gonna have this on for 12 hours, um, and then I'm gonna wash it at around 1:30. So you guys, um, it's like a mud mask, and so once the mud mask hardens, she said it's gonna be pretty itchy and it's gonna burn like hell. So yes, I'm excited, but here we are. Let's get it. So this is day two of the Cosmelon peel. The peel is activating. Mm. Phase one, you guys, is pretty much when she applied the mask. Um, I have to leave that on for 12 hours and then you wash it off with water. In phase two, you start um, kind of like a three-step treatment. And so the first is actually this, the Cosmelon 2 facial cream for phase two. I have to use this morning, afternoon, and night. Second step is this mesothetic sensitive skin solution balm with soothing and restorative effects for sensitive skin and reddened skin so as you can see like um i'll insert some pictures but the cosmelon pill like pretty much like made my skin entirely red um so this is what is the next step and the final step is this melanin melon pigment control um and it's an spf and so I use this um, for my skin. So I'm going to show you guys after.
hydrated, um, very moisturized. I will say that um, it does tingle a little bit on my skin because my skin has started to peel. And so I do feel a little bit of tingling sensation around um, my perimeter of my mouth and then some on my cheeks. But again, this is day two, so I'm going to keep up with this um, up into a week. And I'm just gonna kind of like document the process so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna report back. Every day I do that three step process morning and afternoon. And then at night I only use two products because I don't need to use the sunscreen. So I only use the facial cream and the redness cream. And then from there, go to bed, start that process over. So I'm gonna be doing this for about a month. So this is pretty exciting, but the peel is actually going to um, take effect. It's already started to take effect, but it's going to be over a period of two weeks. So I already, y'all, like it's crazy. There was a dark spot on my face and it started to peel off and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is really happening. So just FYI, like I, like I said, I'm walking you through the process of me doing the Cosmelon peel, but like my skin feels very like, snake-like I would say I don't know how to explain it the best way possible form but it feels like a snake but it um, this is kind of like the start of the process so I'm gonna continue with this um, and report back after week one uh, to let you guys know how everything goes hey guys welcome back today is day four of the Cosmelon peel um, I peeled day two and day three i'll insert some pictures um but so far my skin is looking really good i've noticed this significant difference in the way my dark spots are looking um from the first day after day two and day three i noticed like a lot of peeling around my cheek area and then yesterday which was day three noticed a lot in like my forehead region um and then when you're applying the cream what I've noticed is that your hands were kind of like exfoliating the chemical peel off. So I felt a tingly slash stinging sensation um, from that because your skin is super sensitive from the peel, uh, but it didn't last long. So I will say that it wasn't that bad. Um, I'm gonna report back to you guys tomorrow just to kind of show you daily progress. I'll give you a daily progress report of how everything is going, um, but yeah, so far so good, guys. Hey guys, some of the peeling. Is this happening? Hey guys, we are officially one week with the Cosmolon peel. I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looked like and then also um, answer a few questions that I was asked on Instagram over here on this channel so you guys are aware and know these updates. But this is my skin. I'm gonna insert some side by side so you guys can see what my skin looked like um, earlier in the week to what it looks like now. Um, the hyperpigmentation has calmed down a lot. Um, there was like this dark cast on this side. Um, and so it is going down a lot. Um, yeah, so I wanted to make sure that I answered some of your questions that I got on IG about the Cosmolon peel. So what is the cost? The cost is between, I would say it's just dependent on doctor, but I believe that the peel is between $1,300 and $1,500. Um, am I wearing sunscreen after the peel? Yes. It does come with, the three-step system comes with a sunscreen protectant, like a little tinted moisturizer. And then, um, is the Cosmolon Cosmo peel uncomfortable? It actually is. Um, so during the peel process, over that course of two weeks, I noticed that my skin was um, slightly burning. So it was a little irritated by the product, but I believe that's because the new layer of skin is surfacing now and so when you're applying products to a new layer of skin it essentially does 
tingle and burn a little bit but the burning sensation honestly went away within a couple of minutes it did not last all day and can you wear makeup so i tested this theory out by day three um, i noticed that my skin was peeling but i can wear makeup um now like after a week one because you'll notice like my skin has been peeling as much as it was in the beginning and so when it's like first on i would highly not wear with makeup like the first couple of days after a week maybe you'll feel more comfortable wearing makeup but honestly like when you put makeup on you have to wash it off and it just makes it so uncomfortable to like deal with so I just would not include makeup in your routine while you are doing this process it's just not worth it can you work out with um, like 24 hours after you peel the answer is yes however my recommendation would probably be to wait 48 to 72 hours before you work out that gives the chance for the peel to really heal on your skin you have to keep the peel on for 12 hours so if you do decide to work out 24 hours later just know that your skin is super sensitive to all of this stuff did i break out like what it, what happens when you break out during the process of the peeling my recommendation would be to get these um, little things called pimple patches so after you do the skincare routine that you're supposed to do with the Cosmolon peel, I would highly recommend getting like those pimple patches. I did have a few breakouts right around my cheek area and my forehead area. And so what I did was I, after I did the peel process and then did the three step system, I went ahead and put like little pimple patches on my skin just to make sure that those pimples, one, I wasn't touching them and two, they would go away. And pimple patches, they work y'all. My process after this, so this is just week one, obviously. Obviously, we've got a couple more weeks to go but for week one um, I've seen significant improvement in my skin which I'm really excited about I'm excited to see what week two looks like and week three and week four um, but I will say so like after the whole process of the Cosmolon peel my goal is to potentially do Accutane I haven't fully decided if I'm gonna do it but I am looking at um, doing more research on Accutane so that I cannot have any acne breakouts anymore. I tend to notice that the acne breakouts happen when I'm super stressed or have anxiety or my diet is kind of off. So I really want to make sure that those are as minimal as possible. Those breakouts are as minimal as possible so we don't get to this point again. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. This is week one. I'm so excited to see what week two looks like. Make sure you stick around and stay tuned. If I didn't answer any of the questions that you guys may have about the Cosmolon peel, drop them below in the comment section. I would be more than happy to answer them. So I'm super excited and y'all take care. Have a good day. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Love y'all. Bye.